If you want to learn how you can get your attendees to wait in the lobby until you're ready to start your meeting or training session, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony, and this is my channel, Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn how to get the most out of these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. The advantage of getting people to wait in the lobby is that it gives you time to get set up for your meeting or training session. So it allows you to start your presentation, have a quick look at your notes, maybe speak to the other presenters, and then when you're ready, you can let people in from this virtual waiting room. And here's how. So I'm going to start by creating a new meeting. So I'm in the calendar in Microsoft Teams. I now click New Meeting. And in this screen here, I'm just going to complete the meeting details, including the required attendees. And to create this meeting, I just simply click Send, and there's my meeting created. Now to get to the meeting options, I need to go back into the meeting by clicking here, and here I have meeting options. The meeting options will open up in a browser window, and then from here I can change the settings. So from here I can choose who can bypass the lobby. So by default, typically everyone can bypass the lobby. But if I click here, I've got my options. So I could select it so that my organization can bypass the lobby, but any external guests would have to wait in the lobby. For this example, I'm going to select only me. So I'm the only person that doesn't need to wait in the lobby because I'm the presenter. Now, whilst I'm in this meeting options, I just want to point out something else to you. So down here at the bottom, you've got who can present. So again, by default, everyone's a presenter. So if you want to change that, just click here and you can change it. So I'm going to say only me. But the other options you've got there is people in your organization can be the presenter or you can specify who the presenters are. You can also change this during the meeting, which I'll show you. So I'm going to go for only me, and I'm going to press save, and then I go back to Microsoft Teams. I don't need to do anything more with this calendar appointment, so I can just click close. So I'm going to join the meeting now, so I can click join, and then join now. And it comes up with a little pop-up to say that Ron Burgundy is waiting in the lobby. So I can view the lobby from this pop-up, or I could admit him from this pop-up, but maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I want to set up my presentation. Maybe I want to speak to the other presenters that might be online. So I'm just going to close on this for now. But when I'm ready to admit Ron Burgundy or any of the other required attendees, I just simply go to show participants. And you can see that it's shown as one person. There's like a notification there as one. I can click there. And I can see straight away that Ron is waiting in the lobby. Before I admit Ron in, uh, let me just show you that you can get to your meeting options from here as well. So if I click more options here, I've then got manage permissions. And again, this will open up the meeting options within the browser window. And then from here, I can change the meeting options. So you can also do it when the meeting has started. So going back to the Teams meeting, before I let Ron into the meeting, uh, let me just show you what Ron can see right now. So on Ron's screen, it says, when the meeting starts, we'll let people know you're waiting. So it just helps to reassure Ron that he's not just waiting in limbo. Okay, I'm ready to let Ron in now, so I can click on the tick. If I don't want Ron to be in this meeting, maybe he's turned up by mistake, uh, I could click the X and that would deny him access. But uh, I'm going to let Ron in, so let's click the tick. And you now can see that Ron is an attendee. Now, if I change my mind and I now want to make Ron a presenter, I want him to be able to share his screen, then I can do that from here. I just hover over his name, click more options, and then from here, I can make him a presenter. And now just click change to confirm, and now Ron's a presenter, and this would allow him to share his screen. And if at any point, I can always make him an attendee again, just by clicking on more options, and then make an attendee. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Teams, then watch these videos here, and I will see you in the next video.